John Avalon, special to the Sunday Telegraph from the News Beast headquarters in New York City. President Obama this week on a swing state bus tour through the Rust Belt, beginning in Toledo, Ohio, where he landed yesterday to start making his case to the voters who will ultimately decide whether he is reelected. Those middle class voters in the Midwest states. He started by announcing a new U.S. trade offensive against China, lodging a protest against tariffs that can reach as much as 20 percent on U.S. cars. This is a very popular attack in American elections in recent years. Mitt Romney promising to contest China's currency manipulation on his first day in office. And in the 2010 cycle, ads attacking China were a frequent feature on television, especially in Ohio. China has become a bogeyman of sorts in American politics, shorthand for concerns about deficit and debt, the rising power of China and India, and concerns about U.S. manufacturing shipping overseas, which has been a decades-long problem. But does it add up? I spoke to the mayor of Toledo, Ohio yesterday, where Air Force One touched down, and he told me that he'd been to China three times during his time as mayor. That increased trade with China, especially through automotive plants, is one of the reasons his city has been able to turn deficits into surpluses in just the past few years. In short, the relationship between China and the United States is far more complex than the stereotypes of the political ads may suggest. There is a system of interdependence in place, for better or worse, that's the heart of globalization. Even the old narratives about U.S. manufacturing fleeing overseas, while absolutely true in the 70s, 80s, and even early 90s, has actually reversed in recent years. We've seen 34 consecutive months of manufacturing growth in the United States. So that while the China bashing plays well in politics, and both sides do it, because it taps into an anxiety about larger issues, the real underlying numbers don't support those concerns. In fact, free trade does show signs of working. Do we need to make sure the competition is fair and on a level playing field? Absolutely. And that's something the mayor of Toledo emphasized to me on the phone as well. Tariffs can distort the mutually beneficial economic relationship between the two countries. But even in localities like Ohio, bashing China may play well in the polls, but it doesn't reflect the underlying economic reality. For the Sunday Telegraph, I'm John Avalon.